So, Dr. Jyoti, welcome to the show. Uh, so, continuing on expressive arts therapy, uh, today we are going to focus on psychodrama. Could you do us the honor of introducing yourself? Hi, Akash. How are you doing? I am doing very well. Okay. So, my name is Jyoti Glory Bernard. And I am a licensed clinical psychologist associate. I have been practicing in Delhi and CR since nine years now. And I have completed my education from UP. I have got my license from Amity University, Lucknow. And uh, now I'm doing my private practice uh, since one year. Yeah. Okay. So let us start with the topic of psychodrama. Uh, starting by what it means. Okay, so psychodrama, I started back then in 2015. Mm -hmm. And I was interested in it because it's something new in psychology. And uh, I had a platform to practice it with the help of some psychiatrists and clinical psychologists back then in 2015. So psychodrama, uh, we use this therapy. So when we are calling it a therapy, that means it Mm -hmm. is structured. Right. And it is scientific. It is Mm evidence-based. Okay. So um, it is structured and also it is used when um, the client is not able to express himself or herself in one-on-one session. Right. Okay. There is a case of, uh, if let's say there is a case of rape, there is a rape survivor, or let's say there is a chronic case of PTSD, there is a case of addiction, psychosis, or we can also use it with adolescent or mm-hmm. uh, school kids as well because it is expressive, you know. Right. Yeah, that's why. Right. Uh, so that is uh, what me, uh, psychodrama means. And right. it was founded by Jacob Levy Moreno. Mm-hmm. So he was a pioneer of psychotherapy. Right. So apart from being able to express yourself, if you are not able to verbally express yourself, uh, how different is it from traditional therapy? I'll give you an example of my own case. Okay. So this is going to be interesting. Now that case, uh, I saw it. In 2019, I handled that case and uh, I started with one-on-one therapy with that case. However, I later I found out that it was not working. The patient was trying to manipulate in the session and he was trying to minimize his symptoms, not identifying the symptoms. So I thought that he has that sensation-seeking behavior. Let's mm-hmm. use it in therapy. Yeah. And uh, he liked the tension. Right. So uh, I used one of the techniques of psychodrama, which is called doubling, where the inner conflict. So I uh, made it a little creative. Right. So there were two other uh, characters who were uh, playing the role of his inner conflict. You know? Right. right. So that started working. hmm and uh, he identified later in one o one session he identified that uh, ma'am i think this was my story uh, because in psychodrama we do not reveal that this is patient's story we do not reveal it to the protagonist okay we just take a story so that uh, uh, it can generate insight for the protagonist mm-hmm. as well as uh, to the audience right, right? So it is. It is a part of a group therapy. So it uh, it it can be used uh, for everyone. Right. So that's how it started working with him, and uh, uh, we did uh, four sessions of psychodrama. So mm-hmm. this was a case of addiction and personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder. Now we all know that uh, working with personality disorder is a little dif- difficult for us. So it really worked well with him. Mm-hmm. So that's how it is different from traditional therapies. Right. So like I have a question apart from psychodrama. Uh, why would a client uh, who willingly comes to therapy minimize their symptoms? 
good question. When they do not have insight, so right. this was an inpatient setting. Right. His parents, yes, his parents got him admitted. And uh, when when somebody is inpatient setting, uh, it is more likely that they do not have insight. Right. So if they do not have insight, they just want to, you know, leave that place or uh, uh, they just want to get out from that place. So they will, of course, minimize their symptoms. Ki haan, hum theek hai. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. I'm fine. Chutti de to ab. So this right. is how it works. makes sense. So what is the evidence substantiating the therapeutic effect of psychodrama? Okay. So uh, in psychodrama, uh, what happened, I have to give you a little history sure. of this. So you know Sigmund Freud. Now, uh, Sigmund Freud uh, was uh, very much into one-on-one therapy. Okay. Right. Right. So he his way of uh, uh, treating a patient was individualistic one-on-one right. therapy, sitting in a cabin, something of that sort. But uh, Jacob Levy Moreno uh, was a little different, and mm-hmm. Sigmund Freud approached him um, in a conference. And he said, what do you do? And uh, what is your style of approach? And he asked him questions. So Jacob Levy Moreno said that uh, uh, you uh, show them dreams and I give them the platform to see the dreams. That's beautiful. Okay. Yes, yes. So that's how Jacob Levy Moreno started with psychodrama, sociometry and other group therapies. So uh, when he started, everything was going well. It was all evidence-based. But later, it started uh, losing uh, its popularity Mm -hmm. among the clinicians because uh, somewhere the success got into his head. So, yes, yes, uh, every psychologist or clinician or psychiatrist who have... um, you know, pioneered these kind of therapies. They have their own history. So uh, this is evidence-based with addiction, with uh, rape survivors. And uh, um, when, as I told you that when we are talking, when we are saying therapy, when we are Mm -hmm. using the term therapy, it is scientific and evidence-based in itself. Okay. So it is different from drama therapy. Psychodrama is different from drama therapy because um, this is psychodrama is used most of the time with clinical population. Who are suffering okay. from mental disorders. Exactly. Who have disorders. Right. Okay. Who have a diagnosis. And mostly it is done in a group. So we need to have a group and audience to administer this therapy. So it cannot be done in one on one setting. Yeah. So yes, it is evidence based with addiction, rape survivors, adolescents, and uh, mostly with inner conflicts. Mm-hmm. Right. So, what are some of the advantages of uh, doing a therapy in a group session? Not let alone just psychodrama, but any therapy session. In a group. Right. Okay. So, uh, human is a social animal, as you know. So, when uh, we are talking about group, they are motivated by each other. Okay. There can be a token system. Token system means uh, if we want to reinforce a certain kind of behavior in them, uh, uh, we can give them tokens to reinforce their behavior. Okay. Their desirable behavior. So, in this way, there is a competition. Um, we can rate their behavior, desirable behavior, and uh, they can express really well when they have the same group. Right. They will be like, oh, it's got the same problem here. Achha, iska bhi same problem hai. I'm not alone. So right. this is how, uh, because I have worked a lot with uh, groups of mm-hmm. different age. Um, I have worked with geriatric, kids, adolescents, adulthood, middle age. And I I found that um, 
group therapy works really well when when individual therapy uh, is not working right yeah as a mental health practitioner which form of therapy do you subscribe to eclectic approach so eclectic approach means that uh, whenever a client is coming to me mm-hmm. as per his uh, uh, problem issues conflict symptoms uh the the treatment plan is always tailor made right so it's not like ki acha mujhe koi aisa therapy pasand hai let's say mujhe psychodrama pasand hai to main psychodrama us pe apply karne lagi ya fir uh, if i like let's say dbt so i started applying no mm-hmm. i put in all that uh, all those spices of therapy in one case and then uh, i keep keep changing it as per their requirement so how do you determine uh, which person requires what kind of therapy okay so <laughs> uh, i think some of it is coming from the experience right that uh, um, they i always go for a brief conversation with patients mm-hmm. or clients yes. uh, because uh, it is always better to have a conversation with them so that if they have doubts because you know uh, what is the status here in india of therapy okay. and the psychiatric medicines so if they have doubts they can ask that question in like in a brief conversation and then they can start okay, okay. so uh, um i think then only i decide uh, that okay this therapy i'm going to do with this patient and this is coming mostly from the experience i think and the training which i uh, got right yeah. right so and um, also yeah. uh, i would like to add i forgot i would right. like to add that uh, when whenever a patient is coming to me i follow all those uh, ethics yes. so ethics uh, mean that uh, i get them uh, psychotherapy intake form a tele mental health consent form mm-hmm. so that is required so they need to put their emergency number in that and they need to uh, explain that why do uh, why are they seeking therapy right? so that gives me an idea and also that works as a commitment right those two pages works as a commitment that okay i'm getting into therapy so right. that's how i decide that which uh, therapy should i right but do you have any specialization and like if someone wants to consult you how can we do so okay so my specialization is in clinical psychology i am a licensed rci professional so i have variety of cases some of them they have disorders but some of them they come for relationship issues so i am trained to handle all those and also i go for a holistic approach so for example let's say if somebody has come to me with uh, some mental health issues let's mm-hmm. say very common uh, self confidence low self confidence low self esteem and why because they have uh, uh, they are gaining weight they are not mm-hmm. losing any weight they have tried everything Mm-hmm. so first i'll work on their low self confidence and then i refer because i cannot work as a gym trainer right yes. i cannot work as a yoga trainer or i cannot work as a dietitian right. so i i motivate them to consult a dietitian or a a, a yoga trainer or to join a, a gym right so that's a very healthy how, approach like you're looking at biochemical physical yes. Yes, exactly. Like how, so my approach. How, how can they contact me? Ah, uh, my number on my number and on LinkedIn. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, speaking about the allocation of resources available for mental health in India, would you say it is low compared to other countries? Okay. So my there is a question in your question. Do we have uh, enough resources? Right. now um, i would give you a number so i'm 
really not good with uh, um, recalling numbers, so I have to Same. sort it down. Right. Yeah. So there was a survey uh, done by Ministry of uh, Healthcare, mm-hmm. and um, we need twenty thousand clinical psychologists. But the available, uh, what is the availability? That is just one thousand. We 1, need uh, one thousand uh, uh, per population. The population. This is this was right. this was Pan India. This was Pan India survey. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we need thirty five thousand psychiatric social worker, but we have nine hundred. However, as you know that uh, the data is always you know. uh i think it is not yeah it is not as they Full show clear. their right. yes right. so i think there have been professionals mm-hmm. uh, who are ready to work however i feel that uh, we need to work on a very low level right. so uh, right. now what does that mean a low level uh, work we need to start the work from you know training who are licensed uh, mental health professional they can train the school teachers the special educators so we start from the school mm-hmm. okay by training parents okay so there has right. to be a training program in schools and uh, there has to be a training program in universities so ugc mm-hmm. has said that uh, there has to be a counseling cell in every university mm-hmm. but that is questionable if you go right. and see that is questionable right so uh, i think uh, the resources are there but mm-hmm. we need to connect with each other for example uh, to be honest we need to leave our ego clash कि भाई हम साइकाइट्रिस्ट के पास नहीं भेजेंगे हम क्लिनिकल साइकोलॉजिस्ट के पास नहीं भेजेंगे पेशेंट सो इफ आई गिव यू एन एग्जांपल देयर वाज अ केस आई हैड अ पेशेंट हु वांटेड टू सी अ लाइफ कोच राइट ठीक है नाउ आई एम नॉट अ लाइफ कोच आई कैन गिव यू एन अल्टरनेटिव एज पर थेरेपी बट आई कैन नॉट डू लाइफ कोच राइट so uh, for that um, i referred that patient to somebody who was a life coach mm-hmm. okay. so this is how i work because uh, this network is working on the reference we need right. to understand here okay if we even not support the body the whole body uh, we will not right. reach to these uh, digits which i um, mentioned earlier right. right so uh, we have resources we do have resources we are getting uh, so many trained uh, mphils and uh, professional diploma clinical psychologists special educators uh, we are getting uh, trained counselors mm-hmm. okay so right. government already has a plan but uh, i think we need to work on our networking for our benefits as well as for the patient's benefit it is for uh, yeah it is for our benefits as well like uh, yes. what you are good at okay uh, so as uh, from the perspective of a psychologist uh, the mm-hmm. fees in india is it comparable to western countries okay so i have uh, patients from western countries uh, i think it is uh, when we are we uh, so my fees is always mentioned in the tele mental health consent form and uh, many patients who can pay they negotiate on that and they say ki aap se baat hi to karne wale ho aap session mein ek ghante se baat hi to karoge to ye notion hai india mein and i think the fees is not uh, if if we do a comparison western countries they charge uh, almost like 10000 10000 for a for a cbt session for one session 
अराउंड टेन थाउजेंड आई एन आर तो उसे अब आप डॉलर में कन्वर्ट कर दो एंड दैट इज कवर्ड बाई द इंश्योरेंस हाउ एवर इफ द थेरेपिस्ट इज गोइंग टू अप्लाई एनी अदर थेरेपी अदर देन सी बी टी और डी बी टी दैट इज नॉट कवर्ड अंडर द इंश्योरेंस सो दे आर वेल अवेयर इन वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज दे आर वेल अवेयर दैट दे नीड थेरेपी दे नीड मेडिसिन दे गो फॉर देयर ट्रीटमेंट बट ह्योर वेन अ साइकाइट्रिस्ट इज रेफरिंग अ पेशेंट दे दे जस्ट यू नो नीड टू साइको एजुकेट दैम दैट यू रिक्वायर थेरेपी नहीं करोगे अगर थेरेपी तो बाद में तुम्हारा पता नहीं क्या होने वाला है सिर्फ मेडिसिन से नहीं काम चलेगा सो जो भी साइकाइट्रिस्ट मेरे पास में रेफर करते हैं पेशेंट्स दे गिव एक्स्ट्रा फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ऑन साइको एजुकेटिंग वट इज थेरेपी ओके एंड and i'm telling you if they have referred like 10 patients in a day only one is coming to me because they think ki ha theek hai thoda aasan rasta choose karte hain therapy se kya hi ho jayega baat karne ja rahe hain faltu mein paise waste karenge abhi doctor ko to paise de diye hain yahan pe to india mein doctor is god no right so yeah so थोड़ा सा अभी ये सीन है बट अवेयरनेस बन रही है एंड uh, जो भी साइकाइट्रिस्ट जिनके साथ मैं काम करती हूँ करती हूँ दे आर रियली डूइंग अ ग्रेट जॉब इन साइको एजुकेटिंग देयर पेशेंट्स सो मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर टर्निंग अप एंड यू नो कमिंग फॉर द थेरेपी एंड दे स्टे विथ मी फॉर लाइक फोर मंथ्स वन मंथ सो आई गेट ड्यूरेशन How do you make yeah, your client yeah. stick to their therapy routine? It's very easy. So when I started doing private practice, I realized that uh, uh, earlier we never used to uh, commit to the patient कि भाई आप इतने महीने में ठीक हो जाएंगे. But patient हमारे पास क्यों आएगा? कोई client है अगर वो हमारे पास क्यों आएगा? क्योंकि अगर उसको ड्यूरेशन पता चल जाएगा तो ही कैन ही और शी कैन स्टिक टू द ट्रीट राइट अगर आप डॉक्टर के पास जाते हो वो आपको बता देता है कि सात दिन में आप ठीक हो जाओगे एंटीबायोटिक लो आपका फीवर चला जाएगा जो वायरस वायरस है वो चला जाएगा यू विल बी ऑल फाइन आप ये चीजें करो राइट सो ड्यूरेशन मैटर्स अ लॉट सो आई टेल देम दैट ओके फॉर वन मंथ दे विल बी वंस इन अ वीक सेशन और ट्वाइस इन अ वीक सेशन depending on the requirement if you are in a in an acute phase there will be twice in a week session and depending on their uh, financial condition mm-hmm. so uh, i give them a duration of maximum 4 months okay right. because if you give them a duration and then later i say that it is tentative yes right. but it works psychologically like a pl- placebo सो दे थिंक अरे इन्होंने तो ड्यूरेशन दे दिया चलो इन्हीं के पास आते हैं चार महीने में मेरा पूरा ट्रीटमेंट हो जाएगा एंड एंड एक्चुअली इट वर्क दे गेट कमिटेड टू द ट्रीटमेंट दे डू एवरी थिंग वट एवर इज रिक्वायर्ड इन द ट्रीटमेंट यू नो एंड दिस इज हाउ दे स्टिक टू द ट्रीटमेंट सो बहुत मेरे पास ऐसे बहुत कम केसेस आए हैं जो कि जिनका रेगुलरली फॉर for two years or for one year treatment chal raha ho but uh, i tell them ki theek hai char mahine ka treatment ho gaya now your uh, course of uh, therapy is terminated let's right. do it on a prn basis now prn is as per needed so if okay. i am not saying that you will get rid of anxiety or your sadness there will be ups and downs in your life but if you need me just drop me a text so the important part here is to uh, develop a help seeking behavior which is not here in india which yes. we do not do right yes so jo suicide cases hote hain ya fir jo dusre cases hote hain jo crisis cases hote hain wo kyu hote hain because they do not know where to seek help but if i have so what do i do i tell them that this is my number Okay, this is my uh, business number. Uh, if you are feeling an intense emotion, reach out to me. 
it can be any time it can be midnight it can be early morning it can be afternoon just reach out to me drop me a text i might read or might not read it but we are going to discuss it in the session definitely so that gives them a, conf- a confirmation and assurance ki ha they somebody can who is taking care of me. right and trust me it really works well that uh, pe- uh, patients who have suicidal ideation or they have panic attacks or they are going through some crisis they drop me a text they'll write a, a long message and then they're like oh i just needed to ventilate okay bye Right. So, help-seeking behavior uh, uh, is really important in India to be developed. What is the therapist-to-client ratio in India? Uh, okay, so, um, as I told you, so this was a pan-India uh, right. um, right. survey. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So okay. that was that is the only survey which we have. Mm-hmm. However, it needs to be repeated. Uh, I think once in six months, because uh, I am getting. So this is my. Uh, I have not done a survey though, but I get almost like five to six patients in a day. So I see. Uh, this is my. This is my ratio. but i am sure that if we start doing it frequently in india uh, we can get a, a more clarity that mm-hmm. uh, uh, how many people are suffering from mental disorders or uh, mental mental health well being right. let's not make it all disorder disorder mental health well being so we'll get an idea i like a clear picture so it will be easier for the government also to allocate uh, the mental health professionals as per the population as per the need as per the requirement of india right so what steps do you suggest aside from grassroots grassroots level changes in parent teacher counseling okay so uh, i think uh, personally i believe that uh, mental health should be in the curriculum yeah. about mental health yes i feel that uh, i get many uh, you know people who have been successful in their life really really successful and who have been on a position where anyone want to be you know but but nobody told them a uh, how to cope with the success nobody told them how to cope with the stress right so we have a culture where we say that are gussa mat karo gande bacche ho gande bacche gussa karte hain ya fir are chinta mat karo sab theek hoga ab exam ke pehle stress nahi hoga to aur kya hoga will i be happy no so we have that kind of culture so root to wahi se shuru hoti hai because right. my style of working is working on the root cause it's uh, very intense my brief it's very intense uh, it's very intense yes that is the one word appropriate word and mujhe aisa lagta hai ki agar aapne root cause pe kaam kar liya hai to theek hai aage chal ke wo coping skills apply kar sakte hain apni life mein एंड मेरे पास जो पॉपुलेशन आती है वो सबसे ज्यादा एडोलिसेंट पॉपुलेशन आती है एडोलिसेंट एंड अर्ली एडल्टुड तो जो बच्चे हैं ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्रस्ट मी ट्रस्ट मी ऑन दिस दैट दे हैव बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ देयर मेंटल हेल्थ एंड यू नो बेटर देन देयर पेरेंट्स बेटर देन एनी वन यू नो दे हैव दैट एम्पथी फॉर अदर पीपल इट ओके अच्छा ये कॉन्फ्लिक्ट अगर तुम्हें ये कॉन्फ्लिक्ट भी आ रहा है दिस इज नंबर गो एंड सीक थेरेपी दे विल डू दैट साइको एजुकेशन एज वेल कि क्यों तुम्हें थेरेपी चाहिए सो दे रिफ्लेक्ट वॉट आई डिड विद दम इन द थेरेपी तो ये चीज हम बच्चों के साथ में भी कर सकते हैं पेरेंट्स के साथ में भी कर सकते हैं बिकॉज यू नो मेरे पास जो केसेज आते हैं वो बहुत ज्यादा केसेज आते हैं रॉन्ग पेरेंटिंग स्टाइल के 
डिस्टॉर्टेड फैमिली रिलेशनशिप्स के एंगजाइटी डिप्रेशन तो ये सरफेस uh, पे है नीचे क्या है कहा से ये आ रहा है दैट इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इफ यू हैव वर्क ऑन द रूट कॉज देन एंगजाइटी डिप्रेशन ऐसे चला जाता है ओके सो आई थिंक इट शुड बी देर इन द करिकुलम एंड देर हैज टू बी अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम्स गूगल पे नहीं इंस्टाग्राम पे नहीं नहीं वो नहीं प्रॉपर एक स्ट्रक्चर्ड अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम एंड अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम फॉर पेरेंट्स फॉर रिलेटिव्स एंड देन कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटीज वेयर पीपल आर वर्किंग एट देर वर्क प्लेस then i think it will solve most of the problem right you know because there is a lot of content on google i get so many patients uh, who say aap cbt karoge aap dbt karoge uh, then i ask them that from where have you read on google on instagram acha aap trauma informed karoge you like pehle kaam to karo fir dekhte hain kya karna hai so uh, there is a lot of stuff on google and on social media but i think ek structure mein kaam hoga so it will solve most of the problems and the awareness which we are requiring in india about mental health i think we would achieve that right i think we have reached that time limit i just let it off now it was a great honor to talk to you Thank you so much for giving the platform.